Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part three of the leg rig tutorial series that I'm making. And um, so this is part three. So there are two other parts. So if you haven't seen them, I suggest you do because we made the leg and torso mesh here, and we set up this armature setup. And in this part, we're gonna apply those armatures to our mesh. So if you haven't seen part one or part two, go ahead and watch it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to apply the mirror modifier so that whatever we do goes on both sides. Because if we rig it, then whatever we do, whenever we move the right side, the left side will move and it won't look good. Okay, and also in the last part, we turn these little bubbles here off. And the reason we did that is all it does is it uh, disables the modifiers from being seen in the interface. They are still rendered, so that just optimizes workflow so your computer's faster and so we can see the base mesh so we know exactly what's going on. So now you want to add another modifier and make this one an armature modifier. So in this and you can put in whatever you want here. So let's just go ahead and select the armature. Check the name, it's armature, simple enough. And go ahead and put it right here. So armature in the OB tab. And now if we go into pose mode Blender will have already tried to select vertex groups for the individual ones, the individual bones, and that's no good. So, before we do uh, actually assign the vertex groups, we have to name these. So, select this and let's go ahead and go into edit mode. And you can see the BO here, which stands for the bone name under the armature bones. Make sure you're in the edit tab. And let's go ahead and rename these. So I'm going to call this one Torso. That's what I would call it if, you know, otherwise. And this is a child of nothing. It's its own parent. Okay? So you're going to want to name these. And the reason you want to name these is so that when we, um, when we weight paint them, we can turn on x-axis mirror and it will, uh, it will automatically paint both sides. And that's very useful. So Let's go ahead and rename these. So this is hip dot L. And the reason you press put dot L there is so that Blender can know what's left and right. And this is left because it's the character is left. So make sure every make sure you don't get confused with that. We don't have all that much naming going on. This one is let's say thigh dot L. Did I spell that right? I don't know. Let me make sure. He yeah, asked about that right. Okay. Go ahead and let's make this. Uh, actually, let's make it just simple. Simple. A little more simple. Put in upper, and then you want to put in this lowercase colon here that goes at the bottom. Um, leg. Dot L. And the reason you want to put this lower um, semicolon or whatever here. I don't know what you call it, is because you can't really use spaces here because Blender won't use, uh, use the left and right functions. So just do that for, for your spaces. And it, so here's lower, and don't forget that right there, leg dot L. Let's go ahead and name this. Um, uh, what should we name this? For now, let's just go ahead and name it foot. Dot L, and let's name this one toe. Dot L. Okay, so now that we have all that, let's go ahead and copy them over to this side. So select this one, hit dot L, Control C, and that's what copies it. Select this one, there's it here, Control V, and you'll notice that when you assign it, it gets this dot O one, and I'll show you how to get rid of that easily and automatically so don't even worry about that just copy and paste them it's very simple and I'm not a rigging expert just so you know this is I'm just I'm okay at rigging I'm not that good I much rather like to model so remember I'm just pressing control Z by clicking on the other side and pressing control V computer is acting a little slow right now and I'm gonna just go ahead and disable that really quick 
Hold on, I'm gonna pause it really quick and fix some settings. Hold on one second. Okay, hopefully it'll run better now. So let's go ahead and keep doing what we were doing. So let's see, we got foot. Okay, so now all we need is toe. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have all this, go ahead and select shift right click all of the bones on the right side that have the dot o one there and go ahead and go to armature and press flip uh, left and right names and check it out now everything is hip r upper leg r lower leg r and it's perfect and that's that's a really simple way to do it okay so now that we have all of them let's go i'm going to show you how to um oh apply the vertex groups so you want to go into pose mode okay and you want to select your mesh while your armatures are in pose mode you go into weight paint mode and another way to go into weight paint mode besides this little tab here just press control tab and it goes there automatically okay so now what you want to do is you want to press paint go to your paint or press W and press apply bone heat to vertex groups and then Blender will automatically do it for you. So here you can also move them. So just press the R, press R, and my computer acts up so bad when I do that, just the screen. So I'm not gonna be doing that much. But yeah, so I'm just gonna show you one part of it. So you can select these bones just by right clicking them. And um when you right click them it selects their vertex groups let me see how much time I have okay I have enough time so I'm just going to show you one and then we'll do the actual weight painting in the next part so let's go ahead and you just want to click this and as you can see it goes right there just hold down the left mouse button and then you want to assign just paint uh, what you have there so red is one is that's the weight of one yellow is like 75 green is like 25 and so it's pretty much a scale from red to blue red is that means that it, it's being affected 100 percent by that bone and blue means that it's not let's go over here let's turn on go over here to the um what's this panel called or the, to the object panel and go over here to draw and turn wire on so that we can see where the vert vertex, uh, where the vertices are. Go ahead and select this whole upper part. And for more accuracy, let's turn off uh, vert, uh, vert disk. Actually, forget that. Sorry about that, guys. Go ahead and keep that on for now. I'm just showing you guys a really quick example, and then we'll be doing the real stuff in the next part. So let's go back to object mode. Select the um, armature. Let's go ahead and test that hip out. So yeah, as you can see, not everything is moving along, and that's because this is the parent of these two, which is the parent of these, uh, so on. So whatever, so whenever this moves, the whole thing moves. Okay, guys. So yeah, so that's it for this part. Um, I'll sorry if I wasn't too in depth in this part. I will be more in the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't seen part one or two yet, go ahead and watch them. So thanks for watching. Bye.